Sean with VoicesOfRacing.com. And what is your name, sir? George Stanco. And you are a two-time world champ offshore racer. Is that right? That's correct. It's amazing. So we're standing here in front of a boat. What type of boat is this? A 21 Challenger. 21 Challenger. And how many feet is it? 21 foot. That's why it's 21. Okay. Yeah. What's the horsepower on it? 300 Merc. 300. And your son and grandson, they, they race this boat. Is that right? That's correct. What are their names? Mike and Dominic Stancombe. Dominic's the grandson. All right. And you mentioned a little bit of history here. If you could tell me what this is and the people yeah, watching. This is one of the sponsors Mike has for the boat. This is the company that our friend out in Texas, that's the granddaughter of the Marmon Car Company that won the first Indy 500 race. She's one of the sponsors of their boat, and she does production similar to what you're doing now. And uh, uh, that's the Marmon 1911 winner, the Indy 500 family. All right, so let's walk around and kind of get a look at here at the boat. And you got a lot of sponsors here on the side. Uh -huh. So these are all current sponsors? Yes, this is Team Woody out of Texas that my son drives another my son drives another offshore boat for Team Woody. Okay. After they run this, this boat races first. Then he hops in the Team Woody boat and uh, runs that. They just won first place up in Michigan City last weekend. Wow. So how fast do these boats get going? This boat runs about 90, but some of the classes are limited to a top speed, so you basically are running with a GPS number dialed in. And you, you know, try to hold under that number because you have to. That's what makes the racing competitive. And then there's no cheating. That's the most important thing because you're not racing against who went the fastest, but more or less like rallying. Right. Who, who held the number correctly. And you're, you're past, you said and you're in drag? because it holds the speed down for a beginner like my grandson. And how old's he? 14. And he's doing offshore racing at 14. Youngest ever. That is amazing. Yeah. And you got a history in racing yourself? Yes. Uh, drag, you said? Yeah, that started back in the early 60s, uh, 1962, with a 50 Oldsmobile. Won my first race up to Bunker Hill in that car. Still got the trophy and the pictures of that in 1962. Uh, yeah, moved on to a 56 Chevy after that, then a 63 super stock Dodge Ram Charger that I worked at a gas station then for what was a dollar an hour and uh, was able to buy those things by working every night after, after school and weekends. So where's your son and grandson right now? Um, Mike took Dominic to a birthday party on the south side of India, and they'll be back here in a few. They'll be back here. He'll be back. My Dominic's staying at the birthday party. Gotcha. So, uh, is there any, what's what's some of the wins this boat has had? Uh, they won Sarasota. Uh, what was that? A couple months ago. Uh, seconds and thirds, and then the Woody boat won. They got a. They broke out up at. Uh, uh, East Lake, Ohio, two weeks, three weeks ago, meaning they went faster than they should have. And uh, uh, at Michigan City, the water was enormous and rough, so they had to pull in. Wow. It was too big for this. The water was too big for this boat. Well, I've heard there's a lot more backstory yourself and your son and grandson. So we're going to close this one out for voiceintheracing.com, but I look forward to it following up and hearing more of really what got you guys where you're at. Yeah, I think you'll be entertained. Okay. All right. Well, thank you.